even more things should not be shared. For thousands of years, the rise and fall of powerful people, kingdoms, and empires has often depended on a single secret that was made public. Because secrets have power, they can protect us or bring us down. But what if there are some secrets that are so important that they should never be told to anyone? The ancient Stoics knew a lot of secrets and practiced a discipline of silence and discretion that kept them safe and kept their honor. In this video, we'll talk about 10 things that you should keep secret as a Stoic and never tell anyone. Number 1. The Quiet Fights You're waging behind every face you see there are a million stories to be told. Some sang out loud, but most people kept quiet. These hidden stories about problems and struggles in our lives often have a lot of power because they shape who we are, how we see the world, and how far we'll go. But just like the strongest steel is made in the hottest fire, so are we through these inner battles. Epictetus subtly reminds us that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. These words ring true for all the times we've fought with our minds heavy with problems that no one else knows about. Does this mean we should keep everything to ourselves? No, it's about choosing who to confide in, because while everyone may hear, not everyone listens, and even fewer understand, it's your right to share your struggles. There's always a desire to live life in the open, and with social media everywhere it seems like everyone's sharing everything. But there's a lot of power in sharing only what you want to share. Some battles should stay between you and them alone. They're a sign of how strong you are, like a personal medal of honor. And while it's natural to look for comfort in other people, remember that not everyone can hear the depth of your song. The Stoics believed that real change often happens in quiet places, so sometimes the music of your struggles is best heard in the quiet places of your own heart. After all, as the Stoics believed real transformation often thrives in quietude. Number 2. Stoics Never Reveal Self-Doubt Have you ever been about to make a choice when the quiet voices of doubt, these soft whispers, pulled you back? Thoughts like, am I good enough? And what if I fail? Keep us from reaching our full potential, even though it's tempting to shout them out in the hopes that someone will correct them. A Stoic knows how important it is to keep them hidden, at least until they're fully acknowledged and dealt with. Why you ask? It's not outside events that bother you, but your thoughts about them. This insight from the ancient corridors of Stoicism says that facing our inner dialogues instead of making them louder for everyone else can be life-changing. It's easy for the world, especially the way it is now, to make our fears bigger. You're having self-doubt when all of a sudden there's a flood of advice, a lot of it contradictory. This adds to the chaos and suggests that you try a different approach. Instead, listen to these whispers. In the silent arena of introspection, let your own understanding be the bomb, not the opinions of a lot of other people. Disagree with these voices, talk to them, and maybe even reason with them. These days, every emotion can quickly become a public spectacle. It's very powerful to value solitude, especially when dealing with the unruly voices of self-doubt. Those voices need your full attention, not the world's. After all, it's smarter to fix a boat's leaks alone than to let everyone watch it sink. Number 3. Don't reveal their future plans. Have you ever felt like someone was looking at you with interest? If someone is curious about your next move, holding on to your plans with quiet dignity instead of letting them become dinner table talk is a very empowering thing to do. Your goals, dreams, and aspirations are yours to cherish. By not giving away all the details, you keep things mysterious and unpredictable. In this day and age, everyone wants to share, but it's smart to keep your cards close to your chest. Let your actions speak louder than your words and close. History is full of examples of people who brazenly announced their plans too soon, only to see them fall apart. Napoleon Bonaparte was a military genius, but his overconfidence led to the leak of his plans and his lack of respect for his opponents, which became his Achilles' heel. The Battle of Waterloo is a powerful reminder that telling too much can be disastrous. 
The same business Howard Hughes and other business moguls were known for keeping their plans for new businesses a secret. This taught others about the power of uncertainty and the strategic advantage of discretion. Today, social media makes us want to share all of our plans all the time, but Stoicism reminds us that it's better to take a step back and plan things more carefully by keeping your future plans a secret. You're not keeping something from them out of secrecy. You're protecting the sanctity of your journey and making sure that when the world sees your steps, they are steady, deliberate, and always one step ahead. Number four. Never embrace excessive comfort. It may seem counterintuitive, but there's a certain wisdom in keeping our regular steps outside of comfort a secret. When you talk about every challenge and step outside of your norm, your goal often changes all of a sudden. You're looking for approval. Congratulations on being so brave or bold, but the stoic way isn't about getting praise from others. It's about growing from within. When you decide to read early in the morning or walk in the rain to feel alive, maybe don't tell anyone. It's not a show. It's your own journey. Marcus said, Is it for show or real progress? Through the time machine. Alexander the Great is remembered for his amazing victories, but even he slept on the ground and ate the same food as his soldiers, no matter how luxurious or comfortable he was. He did this not to show off, but to keep himself grounded in reality and not get lost in the haze of comfort and luxury. Even though we're not in charge of huge armies, our battles and challenges are real and just as important. In a world that changes quickly and where comfort is often just a click away, remember that the wind, the rain, and the uphill paths are what shape mountains. Similarly, our challenges, especially the ones we quietly accept, shape us. It's okay to enjoy comfort, but do take those secret walks into the unknown. That's where we find the versions of ourselves we forget exist. Number five, don't reveal their weaknesses. It is said that every hero has a weak spot, an Achilles heel, that can be used against them even if they are strong, taking things apart. People are beautifully imperfect, so they have strengths and weaknesses. These weak spots, the raw, sensitive parts of our minds, should be kept safe and not shown to the public. It's not about hiding or denying them. It's about treating them with the respect they deserve. Things that happen to merit man don't affect him. How he sees them does. In a voice reminiscent of Epictetus, someone said, It's not our weaknesses that define us, but how we see them. It's important to accept your weaknesses because they are reminders of past hurts. Even the fear of future battles and lessons learned are very personal, and talking about them in public can make us open to judgments from others, which can sometimes change how we understand or accept them. By talking about these things privately, we protect ourselves and make sure they're not used against us or misunderstood. It also gives us a chance to work on them and turn them from weak spots into areas of growth throughout history. Many figures were very aware of their weaknesses, but they chose to keep them close and use them as motivation instead of fear. Abraham Lincoln, for example, had many failures and bouts of depression. Instead of talking about these problems with other people, he took them on himself and let them shape his empathy and leadership. On the other hand, Julius Caesar's weakness was his trust in close allies, which led to his tragic death on the Ides of March. These historical events show how important it is to be aware of our weaknesses, handle them with care, and make sure they don't come back to haunt us. Oversharing is the norm these days. It can be too much to bear your soul and let everything out in the open, but there's power in selective silence. Know your weaknesses, love them, and work on them but don't feel like you have to let everyone see them. It's okay to keep some pages of your book closed after all. Mysteries are interesting, and sometimes the strength is in the chapters that aren't read yet. Number six, never reveal personal grievances. People say that holding a grudge is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It's a heavy burden to carry. 
a steady murmur in the ear and, most of the time, an empty effort. As a Stoic, dealing with personal problems internally promotes inner balance and self-mastery. By not venting every irritation, you build an inner resilience and learn to deal with problems without directing your energy outward. It's a bit like Epictetus's thought that it's not things that bother us, but how we judge them. Think about this. When you share every irritation or frustration, you're not only perpetuating it, you're also making it worse. When we think about our problems in this way, we often realize that many of them will go away on their own. Not worth our time, and for those that are real, facing them head-on instead of just talking about them can be much more satisfying and helpful. Looking back through the cracks in time, we find stories of people who let their personal grudges get the best of them, which ended up hurting them. Think about the sad story of Alexander Hamilton and Aeon Burr. Their mutual dislike led to a deadly duel, which was the result of years of public and private grudges. Both men paid a heavy price. Hamilton lost his life, and Burr lost his reputation, and later his own sad thoughts about the choices he had made. Their story is a stark reminder of what happens when you let your own problems control what you do. People in today's fast paced society are often told to vent as a form of therapy but Stoicism tells us to do the opposite. It's about dealing with problems from the inside out, understanding where they come from, and acting wisely instead of rashly. When you feel that familiar sting of irritation, take a moment to think and ask yourself if voicing this complaint will change anything, or if it will only make things worse. Because sometimes, silence is the best response, and peace is the ultimate victory. Number seven, keep their personal successes to themselves. It's nice to feel accomplished, no matter how big or small, but in today's busy world, we often feel the need to share these moments with everyone. The Stoic path, on the other hand, tells us to celebrate our successes within ourselves instead of looking for approval from others. This is because approval from within lasts longer while publicizing our successes can sometimes make them less important, turning important personal milestones into nothing more than conversation starters. This is not meant to take away from the joy of celebrating with family and friends. It's a call to be smart enough to know that not every victory needs a crowd. It's about knowing the difference between sharing happiness and wanting approval. When we really value our own growth and accomplishments, we become strong and able to rely on our own abilities. This strength comes from within and protects us from the unpredictable flow of praise and criticism from others. There are many examples in history of people who bragged about their successes only to face bad results later on. Take the story of Icarus, which isn't based on a real person. The story is based on human nature that goes back thousands of years. He was excited about flying, so he went too close to the sun, ignoring his father's warnings. His wings and wax melted, and he fell into the water. His pride and desire to push the limits for fame and honor ended up killing him. Accepting success with humility doesn't make it less important. It makes it more important. Today, when everyone is always connected, there are challenges, but there are also chance. The next time you accomplish something, stop and enjoy it for a moment. Then. Think about who you want to share it with. Number 8. Never reveal the quiet desires of their heart. Have you ever found something small that seemed unimportant but made your heart skip a beat? Maybe it was a dream you'd been holding on to or a simple desire to learn a new instrument or dance in the rain. These little personal longings often stay with us. Whispers are easily lost in the noise of daily life. It's natural to want to share these fleeting moments and small goals with others. A voice inside us says, share it, and it will come true. But most of the time, voicing these dreams too soon could cause them to be crushed by the unasked opinions of others. Some people might not understand why you want to learn to play the ukulele or why you started gardening all of a sudden, and that's fine. A famous philosopher once said, dreams whispered to the heart, are for the soul, not the crowd. 
Looking back at history, we can see that the famous philosopher Socrates never wrote down his ideas. Most of what we know about him comes from Plato, who was his student. But this is still interesting. The fact that Socrates hasn't written anything directly about his beliefs or desires adds to the mystery surrounding them. What small wants did he have? Harbor we might never know, and that's the beauty of it. It's a strong reminder that not everything needs to be shared. Some treasures are best kept hidden. Take a moment today, in a world where everything is visible, to hold on to the dreams you haven't shared yet. Let them grow in the quiet of your heart, and when they're ready to face the world, to face both praise and criticism, maybe let them out. Until then, guard them, for they are you. Number 9. Never reveal their personal progress. When a caterpillar cocoons, it's not visible to the outside world, but inside it's going through a huge change. Imagine if that caterpillar felt the need to share every little step it took to change. It would not only be distracting, but it might even stop its metamorphoses. Like this natural wonder, there's an undeniable sacredness in keeping the details of your personal growth to yourself. Every step you take to improve yourself, every new understanding, or self-realization sharing can be helpful and even inspiring for some. But the Stoics stress the importance of reflection over proclamation. Seneca once said, As long as you live, keep learning how to live. Notice that he didn't say, Keep telling everyone how you live. We live in a time when documenting life is almost second nature. The haste to tweet an idea, sharing a personal milestone on Instagram or a vlog about inner struggles can sometimes take away from the real meaning of the experience. Before you share, stop and ask yourself, am I doing this for validation or real connection? The difference is important. Drawing again on the Stoics and maybe Marcus Aurelius' meditations, there's a grounding realization that the universe is changing Life is an opinion journey, and there are a lot of different opinions on it. As you go through the deep waters of personal growth, sometimes it's better to keep quiet than to shout at every turn. Eventually, your changed self will speak louder than any update ever could. Number 10. The Soft EB and Flow of Your Feelings There are many emotions in life such as happiness, sadness, love, anger, and many more. It's common to show how you're feeling in public these days, especially with all the real-time status updates and stories, but there's a quiet power in keeping some feelings close. Restraining your feelings isn't about hiding them. It's about realizing that sharing them in real time is deeply personal and often complicated. His reluctance to show himself to the public is a reflection of our own lives. How often do we stop to really sit with our feelings before putting them out into the world? People who respond quickly are praised in today's world, but remember that it's smart to let your feelings settle before sharing them. Not everything needs to be shared right away. When feelings are kept and thought about, they can lead to deeper insights or change into something completely different. So the next time your emotions rise, give them some space and let them breathe. They are, after all, part of your personal journey. Life is a big place and not every journey needs a crowd. Some are better traveled alone and only shared when the heart really wants to. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. We can keep sending enlightening content to people all over the world only with your help. If there's a subject or idea you'd like to see explored further, please let us know in the comments. It's what drives us to bring you even more profound insights. Also, if you found value in today's content, please like it and subscribe. Let's keep the flame of knowledge burning bright together before you go check out this video on anti-Stoic habits that might be lurking in your daily routine.